Hey listeners, today we are talking about seven tips for creating a profitable online store. So I know it can be a scary place um, being out on the internet and you want to have your best foot forward. So there are just a few key things that I teach um, that you really want to make sure that you have done to your website. Uh, you know, if you go searching on the internet, you're going to find a billion different opinions on what your site should have on it, right? And that can even be swayed by the product that that person is selling, right? Let's say it's a company that sells, you know, email pop-up, email services and pop-ups. They're going to obviously say you need to have their pop-up. And so depending on whose opinion you're getting, uh, when you search on the internet about what you need to have on your site, it can get extremely muddy and confusing. So I put together just a quick list um, and you can check the show notes and I will put a link to get this little freebie that I've created out there. And so the first thing is you want to have a professional website with awesome branding. And I'm not talking when I say professional, I mean, um, it has to look good and have all the, the pieces and parts, right? And that's pretty easy these days because, you know, places like Shopify, I mean, they really just have everything built in, right? Um, in the old days, you could potentially have come across an e-commerce place and maybe they don't have all the pieces and parts you need, but that's pretty easy these days. Um, awesome branding by that. I mean, a professional looking logo and a custom domain. Now you would think that um, custom domain is not that big of a deal. I know some, sometimes I'll go to a website and I immediately know that they don't know what they're doing because, um, it has the dot my Shopify in the domain. You have to have a custom domain. That would be like if target set something up and, um, like you go to target.myshopify.com if <laughs> target was on Shopify right? So it's just not professional. So you really have to have a custom domain. You can get one, you know, GoDaddy, um, there are, gosh, there's so many places that you can get a custom domain that are reputable these days. And you really, really need to invest in that. It's not uh, super expensive. I'm trying to think it's like maybe 30 bucks or less if you buy the security option, I think. And um, the other thing is professional looking logo. Now I know back when I first started my business, um, gosh, my first business, right? And um, there were very few places to actually get a logo. That was back before Fiverr. And um, it was back when really the only option you had to create a logo was if you learned Photoshop. These days, there are so many options of places to get logos. It is not even funny. So it's really, you really have no excuse for not having a professional looking logo. Like everybody and his brother knows how to create them now. And um, some people are better, are, are better at it, right? Um, your logo needs to not, I recommend that you, you have a um, translucent background. So don't, let's say your colors are pink and black. Don't do your logo, like the words in black and then like a big pink square behind it. It just looks unprofessional. See how you can incorporate the colors in while still having a translucent background, right? Um, and I can give you some examples of that. Um, if you want to go to my Facebook page, Grow Your Boutique, or if you want to uh, find my Facebook group, Start, Grow, and Scale Your Ecom Business, and you want to jump in there and ask for some examples of logos, we can talk some more about logos. Um, but anyway, that's tip number one. Uh, tip number two is sell products that are great quality and priced correctly. So um, you want to have products that are not cheap quality. And the, the way to do that is really by doing your research. I mean, that's the only real way to find out, right? And you want to price them correctly because um, you're in business to make profit, right? If you're not in business to make profit, I don't know what you're in business for, but you know, 99.9% .9 of entrepreneurs are in business to make money, right? Because money is what pays the bills and lets you live your dream life, take the vacation, be home with your kids. Um, so you have to buy at the right price in order to sell at the right price and still make profits. 
So that's another thing that needs to be taken into consideration. Also, um, that, that quality is kind of reflected in your images on your website, right? So think about like really high-end stores, and this may be a bad example, but when you go to look at them, they have great quality images, right? And, and they have, they just, you can tell that they, they put thought into their images, right? And then think about like um, a store, I, I know you've probably run into one on the internet, everyone has, where they don't really have their act together and the kinds of images that they have. Like they're all different sizes or they're blurry or, you know, things like that. So those are the types of things um, for number two that you need to do properly. Um, these are all going to help you create a profitable online store, right? Because you're going to look professional and people will trust you. Number three, understand who your customer is and how to reach them. And you really have to know who your customer is in order to be successful. Um, I cringe when I talk to ladies and they say, I want to be a one-stop shop, or they say, I want to sell men's, women's, and children's clothing, and I just want to have something for everybody. And so I, I know I, I want to say, raise your hand. I know this is a podcast, but literally wherever you are, I want you to raise your hand if you've heard someone say that before, because that tells me that they're not going to make it <laughs> unless they change their view, because you cannot be everything to everybody, right? Unless you have a humongous budget. So think about Target, right? Target can have something for everybody because they're Target. They have millions, maybe billions of dollars worth of inventory on hand, right? Um, when you are a small business, you cannot do that because you can't effectively um, give enough product to a specific customer to make them a loyal customer. You have to go deep, not wide in your product selection. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, number four, customer testimonials on your website, social media, and in emails. That's another thing where if you're going to be profitable, you have to build the like, know, and trust factor, right? People have to feel like you can be trusted and Part of that is customer testimonials. So if you are in business and you're not asking for testimonials in some way, shape or form, you need to start doing that and literally start doing, posting those, um, put them on your website, um, start one time a week, putting a testimonial post on your social media, send an email, you know, with testimonials in it. And if you're selling products, which a lot of you are, 